Hey everyone, so just a quick disclaimer before I start this video. I don't do this every day of the holidays. I actually hate revising. It's my least favourite thing to do and trust me, I do not want to be doing it over for Christmas. I would say I'd probably do something like this, like a day like this, like when I've got no plans at all, my mum's at work, my stepdad's at work, everybody's out the house, I've got no distractions, I try and make the most of it as like a day of work, so then the rest of the days I can kind of do a little bit, but I can go out and enjoy my life, um, but yeah, I don't do this every day, I'm not, like, I don't sit and revise for this long every day, and yeah, that's all I was gonna say. Uh, and I'm not telling you how to revise, but a lot of you requested this video, so I'm going to show you how I revise for my mocks. <laughs> so I wake up at 9.45. I literally don't set an alarm in the holidays, like unless I've got to be out in the evening and I know that I'm going to have to get some work done before I don't set an alarm. So I wake up at 9.45, made my bed because it makes me feel like I'm put together, made myself a cup of tea, said hello to the gorgeous dog who features in every single one of my videos, <laughs> and poured myself a cup of tea in my favourite mug uh, with only one sweetener because I accidentally put two in the first one so I had to make another one and then my sister was making eggy bread so I stole a slice off her because she was making it for her and her friend so I was like oh I'll have a slice of eggy bread so I had some eggy bread with some ketchup on you should totally try it it's really nice um, as kind of like late breakfast don't usually eat breakfast so this is quite weird for me i'm not a breakfast person and i just sat and watched down and oh my voice broke i just sat and watched down and phil um while i was eating this um eggy bread and i really should have my breakfast more often but it makes me feel sick usually in school time so you know it's nice in the holidays to be able to sit and eat breakfast do what i want and then i will take that plate downstairs because i don't like mess being around mess and me do not mix then I lit a candle, which is the cranberry ice one, took me about 10 attempts because it makes my room smell nice and I've got about 50 bajillion candles to burn for Christmas day because I have a feeling I'm going to get a lot for Christmas. And then I filled out my happiness planner. So basically this is just a way of being positive and reflecting on nice things. So you write down what you're excited for in the day, what your plans are for the day, what your main focus is, um, what you're grateful for at the end of the day and what you hope for the next day and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's what I do in this planner and I had to put extra stuff on a post-it note today because it wouldn't all fit on the to-do list. Um, but my main thing I was excited for was a lion, which I got. And then I go into my box full of death and pick out the stuff that I'm going to do. So today I'm doing politics first because I feel like I've left that one by the wayside. So at 10.45 I turn my phone off, put it in my desk drawer say adios to my social life and actually get some work done so a lot of you have asked how i revise politics i basically have my maps and at the moment because i'm just starting to revise it and like i haven't revised it yet um i'm just writing down like i'm covering up the mind map and then using the post-it notes to see what the headings are and then writing down everything i can remember then checking and seeing what i missed um because i'm just trying to go over it like once before i like properly start getting my mom to test me and stuff and then at 12 11.45 I think that said uh, I'm doing German grammar so for me I have to like practice it for it to work so I am just doing um what's it called my grammar workbook and I'm um, I'm just doing like weak points like things that I feel like I need to practice I'm not really sure how to revise grammar to be fair I tend to watch like um YouTube videos and things like that because it kind of like helps me like visualize it and i've never really had to revise grammar before so you know i'm just trying my best and i was making some notes here on comparatives and superlatives because i hadn't written notes on that yet and my folder didn't have notes on that so i put them in my folder and then i watched a video about dative verbs how fun um if any of you did german then german with jenny is definitely someone to watch she's really good um, and she explains things really well and so does learn german with anya as well and then at 12.30 I had a break because my report came through the post, finally. It was all good guys, don't worry, I got all A's, predicted all A's. Um, and I got all ones apart from in politics where I got two twos, which I'm a little bit annoyed about because that's the lesson I do the most extra work for. But you know, it's fine, whatever, I will accept the two twos, it's fine. Not like I don't participate or anything. And then at one o'clock um, I got back on the bandwagon and I did a 45 minutes of German vocab. For those of you wondering, Eve, you are literally doing no Spanish. My Spanish mock is in February after half term, so I'm prioritising the other three subjects while I have the time. And then at 1.45, after I'd done my vocab and ticked it off my list, 
I went downstairs and made myself some lunch. I had a chicken and sweet chilli wrap. Uh, a packet of squares and a huge, huge, huge amount of grapes and I sat and chilled for half an hour in the living room, talked to my sister, um, got stared at by the dog and then I went back upstairs and for some reason it had become the North Pole in my room so I had to put on a hoodie and I decided to do some Chaucer. Okay, if any of you know how, to, how the hell to revise English Lit, please do tell me because I honestly feel like I am not learning anything. I sat for an hour and I picked out 10 quotes for the main character, May, and I wrote analysis on the back of those. I only did five, five four, four analysis, like analyses, but I wrote out all 10 quotes so I can do them at some point. But I don't know, I just feel like I just don't know how else to revise. So if you do English Lit, let me know, because I could really do with some help on that one, because I feel like I'm just kind of like clutching at straws as to how to get it to stay in my head. But my English report was a lot better than expected, so, uh, you know, <laughs> maybe I don't have anything to worry about, who knows? It's all good. Um, so, I just used the index cards from Staples to do this, and then I got a bit carried away. I was supposed to do this for 45 minutes, and I ended up doing it for an hour, but that's alright. Um, and then I decided to do the American Dream quotes for Gatsby. So, I got out all of my sheets on the American Dream. I didn't use them all because I didn't have time. Um, but I found a few quotes on the American Dream and things like that and I just wrote them down again, put the analysis on the back. I have like separate times for doing character quotes and theme quotes, so I'm halfway through my Gatsby ones, halfway through my American Dream ones. I don't, I really don't think I'm gonna finish these by the end of the Christmas holidays, there ain't not a chance, but you know, a girl can try. And if any of you, seriously, if any of you have got like A's or AS or A2 in English, let me know what you did, because I need to know. Because I just feel like I'm just floating around like a loose cannon. Okay, anyway. Still writing, yes, yeah, still writing. Still, I do quite like doing this, it's quite fun. Then at six, 16 o'clock, at four o'clock, I literally was just like, you know what, screw this, I'm going on my phone. So I spent 15 minutes on my phone, checking through people's Snapchat stories. Um, and then I checked my original time, but I actually did everything today for the first time. Yay, so I checked the other three things that I hadn't done, and I decided that I needed to do some German grammar. I didn't really need to do the content, I felt like that was not a priority, and I also felt like I needed to do some more politics because I didn't get as far as I wanted to. So, again, sat down and found another page of things that I might, like, I might not necessarily know very well. Um, it was quite useful that I had my report today, because like, it told me what I needed to be doing to improving. Um, and I was watching Deutsch, Deutsch für euch. Um, which is another German channel. Again, I, for grammar, I need someone to like explain it to me for me to understand. Then at five o'clock, I did my daily vocab. So basically, I paid twenty pounds for Quizlet Plus, and um, yeah, basically, you like review a certain amount of terms every day, and there are too many terms for me to do this without just doing unadulterated German vocab from my vocab list because there's like two thousand terms. Um, but I did that for German and Spanish, so I have done some Spanish revision today, people, okay. Um, and then I went on to politics again, so I just gave you a close-up of some of my mind maps, and I just check the heading, write it down, check the heading, write it down. Obviously, I don't know it all at the moment, but I'm just trying to get an overview of the topic again, because I haven't done it for a few weeks, and then at six o'clock, I'm finished, yay! Done. Okay, I actually did six hours today, which for me is impressive. Like, at one point at GCSE, I was I did think I did nine one of the days, and that was just ridiculous. So I was just like, you know what, six is fine. And most days I usually do about four. So I was quite impressed with myself that I pushed myself that little bit further than I usually do. I think it's because I was filming this video. Then I filled out my happiness planner with what I'm excited for for tomorrow, and then I sat and read a scene of The Tempest because we are starting The Tempest when we go back. So I'm trying to read it before we go back. I've got to read that on a streetcar. Even though I've already read them, I'm trying to read them again. And then at half past, I decided to have my dinner and watch the scene that I just read. Because, again, for me, I'm such a visual learner. I think it's because I watch YouTube so often. I just retain things like that. And then I chilled for the rest of the evening. Uh, I might do a bit of further reading later, but we'll see. They keep, re 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 they keep recommending that I do it and I just don't. So I will do that later but right now I'm editing this and then I'm going to play The Sims until like two in the morning. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, give it a big thumbs up and if you want me to do this again maybe near actual exam season then I will. Um, leave revision video requests down below and I hope you all have an amazing Christmas because I'm not going to be uploading a video till Christmas Day now. So I will see you then. Bye.